Hi go-getters, it's Lily. I am going to show you guys how to cut loops to make the Plarn mats. It's very simple. All you will need are lots of plastic bags, a ruler, and scissors. There's another way you can do it with a rotary cutter and a cutting mat. That way goes a bit quicker, but it's not as kids safe. Oh, and you can also use a reusable bag to store the Plarn loops into. It's a really easy way to store them so they don't get all tangled up. And to pass them on? Yes. So what you want to do is you want to take your bag, put your finger right there where the seam is at the bottom, grab the handle, and pull it tight. That way you have a straight side. You will also do that with the other side. So put your finger on the bottom, pull the handle, and just flatten it out. It's a good clover butt activity. It is. So now we have much more of a rectangular shape rather than a poofy bag to work with. I like to fold the bags up. That way you don't have such a long way to cut where it can be wobbly. So if you're using a ruler and scissors, you want to cut off the top. The handles. The handles. Otherwise, it can snap really easy and we don't want that in our mats. So you'll measure three inches. So one, two, three. Right there. It doesn't have to be exact, but as close to three inches as possible. And that way, you have a nice large loop. And this is what we will make the farm with. So I'm going to do another one here. One, two, three. And there you go. And I just put those in the reusable bag. The other way you can do this is with a rotary cutter and a ruler. Uh, this is a special rotary fabric ruler, but it works really well. You just line it up on the three inches and cut it. So you also don't want to use the bottom because that part is closed. If you have, see there is not quite enough. You don't want to have that because then it won't make a loop and you won't be able to tie it. With the rotary cutter, you can also put a couple bags on top of yes. one another and do multiple at a time, correct? Most of them you can stack up to five or six bags on top of each other. That way, rather than just cutting one at a time, you get through five or six and it goes a lot quicker and it makes a lot more progress. Okay, so that is how we make the, the loops. loops. Yes. Thank you.